comments, what's up? We've got lots of work to do. We've got some new orchids over here that I'd like to report. And let's just jump right into it. Okay, so I zoomed in a little bit so you can guys see a little bit better what I'm doing. Um, so let's start with this um, cinnamon twinkle. Um, when I was talking about, you know, when I was unboxing this um, on Cydium, it was so deep in the pot that I could barely see what's going on. Like I could actually really even see one bulb. Um, and I thought I will maybe try and raise this up a little bit. Um, and look what I found. I actually found a new growth hiding in there. And it was literally below, um, below the surface of the media. So um, thank goodness I didn't water this, you know, as soon as I got it, because I would have actually probably rotted this growth straight away. So let's take this out. As I said in my first video, I think it was potted just before it went out to me. Um, and you can see how all this media just fell off. So none of these roots are attached to it whatsoever. Um, I can actually now see another little bulb here, um, which was again, just below the surface. So yeah, that's, this is not good. Um, what I can also see is there is a plug here. So when it was potted in uh, as a seedling in this moss, it just, yeah, it was just a potted and none of this was taken away. So um, I think I made a good choice to actually pot it now. Uh, and this is exactly why I'm doing this um, when I get my new plants. I just, um, I don't know what is in the media, how they've been potted and then I don't know how to take care of them because I don't know if this media will be, um, if it's fresh or if it's old, is it very water retentive or is it just bark? I mean, I could see straight away that there is loads of moss I and mean, look how much moss there is. And I actually pulled out quite a lot of it. Um, so let me skip ahead while I'm unpicking all of this. I'm gonna use tweezers, um, so I don't want to bore you. It might take me like half an hour or so to do this. I'm usually quite, um, I, I, I'm quite detailed with this, so I, I, I want to clear the roots as much as possible. So let me skip ahead and I'll catch up with you once I'm done. Okay, so I cleaned this guy up and I put it under tap as well to try and wash as much moss out as possible. Um, and I think this this suitable here is actually all rotted. It's, um, yeah, it seems to be just coming off on its own. So um, I will get this cut away. That's so hard to get in there and I really don't want to damage the new growth. Okay, so that's, yeah, that's soggy, so. Okay. I'll pull those sheaths out as well as I'm got access to that. Okay. And I think that's all I will do at, at this point. Yeah, so that's ready for repot. Okay, next up, um, let's go with this Dendrobium Cooperstsonii. Um, so tiny little plant, loads of new growth. I actually noticed later on that it's got some cakes growing on it as well. Um, I will just keep those cakes on. Um, so this one, you can see this cake here, it's got roots growing as well, um, so cute. But I'll just leave them like that. Um, there actually seems to be like there is two growths on that cake already, or if it's maybe, maybe it's two separate cakes. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just leave it like that, it um, looks quite cute. Um, maybe later on I'll separate them, but for now that's that's okay. So let's see what we've got in the pot. Okay, so that seems to have been growing in. So there is gravel around it. And there is also moss in here. Let's check this out. I'm also thinking there might be more than one plant in here. Um, not necessarily, you know, to make this look like it's bigger plant than it actually is. It could just be 
that is grown from a seedling and usually they would throw two or three seedlings in, in the pot in case some of them don't survive, you know. Um, so that's that's all right. You can see one flower just fell off, which is fine. I think this one will, will probably fall off as well soon. So this moss seems to not to be as compacted as on the Oncidium, so it pulls off quite easily, which is awesome. Won't take me as long to get it out of here. So that's it, I'm potted. Basically, all these roots are useless. They're pretty much dead, which is a shame. Um, on the bright side, this looks like one plant so let's um let's move on to the um to the next one okay so this last one is my beautiful psychopsis i am in love with this plant it's just amazing um i've now taken the sheaves off so you can see this flower spike um pushing on it didn't abort um I was really afraid it might might abort after all these um, freezing temperatures that it traveled in, but it actually seems to be okay. Um, this is a very flimsy, flimsy pot, so I'm just gonna cut it away because these roots are absolutely packed in here, so I will try and be extremely careful and just basically peel this, peel this pot off the plant. So yeah, you can see now better. Look at all his roots. Um, I really hope they're all viable. Um, gosh, this is gonna take me a while. Um, I think what I'll do, I'll maybe soak this for a little bit because this is all packed in moss. This is gonna take me forever. So yeah, let me let me fast forward and I'll come back once once I'm done. Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry, a uh, bit of a change of scenery. My husband kicked me out of the living room, so we're gonna have to work here now. Um, so I've been working with this psychopsis. Um, so I've pulled out quite a lot of moss. You can see uh, here a huge pile of, of moss and I'm still not done. There is still loads left. Um, so I will continue picking away at this. What I've also noticed is, um, I don't know if I'll be able to show it on camera, but there's actually pseudobulbs here in inside the root ball that are pseudobulbs. I, I, I think I found two so far. Um, and it, I mean, it kind of makes sense because I can't see the pseudobulb of this leaf. So the leaf goes down to here. This is where the new growth is. But where is the pseudobulb of that uh, leaf? So to me, it looks like it is actually down in the root ball. Now, psychopsis um, are quite, they like, they like moisture around the roots, but if you get any moisture near the new growths, they will rot like fast. That, that's how I rotted my, my previous psychopsis. They, um, flower spike still here still not broken so um yay for me but yeah let me keep going with this um moss i'm i've still got quite a lot to pick out and i'll i'll get back once i'm happy with this Wow, would you look at that? I managed to untangle this whole mess. So all the roots are actually hanging downwards, finally. Um, yeah, took me a while, but I got there. So so this is what I was talking about when I said that it's actually pseudobulbs um, buried in the media down below. So see these there? They're actually in between the roots. So. Um, looks like these are just seedling suitable, so I will cut these two off. Okay, that's the psychopsis cleaned up. Um, so what I'm gonna do next, I've actually, when I was cleaning my um, 
dining table downstairs, I found a huge snail um, on my desk. So I'm not sure which plants it came off of. Um, it maybe will, might be visible in the video. Um, so, you know, once I review all these footages, I might actually know which one it came from. But at the moment I don't. So what I will do, I will spray all three of these plants with hydrogen peroxide um, to, to be safe. So I've got here hydrogen peroxide 3% and um, yeah, let me spray them now. I'm pretty sure it's probably gonna be psychopsis. Um, so that's one. I just don't wanna spray it on the new growth because um, you know, as hydrogen peroxide stops working, it just becomes water. So um, I might drop the plants. Um, and let's get this one going as well. Again, I'm only doing the roots. Um, I'm not even gonna do any pseudo bulbs or the leaves or anything because a special on psychopsis, I am just terrified of losing these new groves. So um, I'll let them sit here and while they're doing their thing, um, I'll just go through these plants just to see if I need to cut, cut any roots or any, any dead stuff. Okay, so this is what I've got left of the plant. Um, still quite a few roots, but none of them are really good, but I just I need to have something to be able to hold this in the pot, so I'm not gonna fiddle with this anymore. Okay, so I'm not gonna do too much with Doncidium. Um, yeah, roots are looking quite good. Um, they're quite short, but that's okay. It will grow new ones, it's got a new growth. Still intact, um, so yeah, looking good. Um, you know, while I was untangling all these roots, I think I, I damaged quite a few. It's it's just how it goes. So I think what I'll do, I'll just take the bottom part of these roots all together. I mean, they do seem that they are, um, it's a branching root system. You can see this out of this one root. Uh, we've got so many branches coming out. So it will branch out, it will grow new tips. So um, from the same old roots, um, so I'm not worried about it. So yeah, I'll just get all of this part cut off and that will make it easier to pot into the new pot as well. Okay, and what I'll do, I will cut these two small bulbs um, as well so that they don't rot. Okay, so since I'm holding this one, I'll, I'll just pot this one up first. Um, so I've got a couple options. I was hoping to, to be able to use a 9 centimeter pot, um, which would be this, but um, yeah, once I untangled all these roots, if I, I would be able to squash it in here, but there is not really that much room for additional roots and I really don't want to disturb it for a couple of years and just let it settle in and just... Um, grow on so I think this might be too small so the other option would be the 11 centimeter pot which is probably quite good or I could go with this basket which is 12 centimeters but as I'm putting this in this is um, way too big I think that's yeah that's too big so I think I'm gonna go with this 11 centimeter pot um, so I'll just sit it in here for now. Now the mix. Um, okay, so for the mix, this, this Psychopsis really likes moisture. It doesn't like to dry out too much. So I will use um, small bark and some sediments as well. And I will put Lekka at the bottom of the pot for drainage. So 
so yeah just just at the very bottom um, and I'll mix the bark and stay and the ceramis as well I'll put quite a lot of ceramis to keep that moisture uh, let's see, let's mix it up and see what we've got. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Um, need a bit more bark. But yeah, so that's that's what I've got. This is what it looks like. Um, so let's, let's get potting. So I think I'll actually just put the plant in right now because it's it's quite a big um big plant with loads of roots um, so let's see so i've got the new growth here but also this growth is flowering which means that this is one of the latest growths as well so this might push out uh, a new growth and i actually see an eye right there um, so it might actually have two directions of growth um, so what I will do I will try and position this in the middle to give it room on both sides okay so that's it potted up um, it seems to be pretty stable in the pot for now if if it will wobble too much I will use the coated wire and just secure it in the pot a little bit more second one let's do this one so i'll for this one because that likes to dry out between what it is i'm uh, what things i'm going to use big bark and small bark um so not too much big bark because it is a small plant so it's just just for extra drainage but not too much um, and small bark and I put a bit of um, ceramics as well yeah something like that so here's here's what I've got um, you can see some big pieces of bark and small bark um, and quite a bit of ceramics as well so I am in between this nine centimeter pot or this smaller basket um, I think a nine centimeter pot for, for that size of plant seems huge. Um, whereas I think this basket, yeah, that looks a lot better. And it will have some extra aeration, which I'm, I'm sure it will appreciate. So yeah, let's let's go with this. Um, I won't even put Lekka at the bottom of this one because, I mean, that's that must be enough. Uh, drainage right so I will just use this mix but I'll I'll put the bigger pieces of bark at the bottom and yeah and then a bit of the whole mix let's have a look so for this plant because so this seems to be the older pseudo bulb this is the newer one the one that is flowering and they've got this new growth over here so I will push this plant at the back like that and fill the media around it. So here we go. That's how the obsidian pot it up. And the tag of course. Okay. And our last plant here so I don't really know what to do with this one um, basically it was potted in so it had a sphagnum moss plug and then it had some just little stones around it so from that my I mean I, I don't have much experience with this plant at all I don't know much about it but just looking at what it was potted in to me it would seem like it really likes well draining media so 
that's what I will do. I will use just a little bit of perlite, um, sorry, not perlite, ceramics. Um, I will just use up the rest of the small bark as well because, I mean, this is a small plant with small roots, so if I will just plant it in big bark alone, it will feel like it's just growing on, on nothing. So, but I will put big bark as well to keep the aeration flowing. Yeah, something like that. So that's, that's what I've got. Um, a bit of ceramis, quite a lot of big bark and small bark as well. Now for the pot, let's see. So we could go again with a small basket which seems to be plenty. I mean, that it could probably last a couple of years in here. Um, again, I think I will plant this in, in the middle. I can see new growths um, going in different directions. So I will, um, yeah, I will just plant it in the middle. So I will use Leca for the drainage for this one. Because there's barely any roots, it's, it will fit in here just fine, even with extra drainage. So I will put it in there. So I've got about this much. Okay, so this one is definitely not gonna be stable in the pot. So what I'll do, I will light it in. Okay, so I use this coated wire. It's, um, it is quite, thick um, but it's quite good because I only need um, to go with this once over the pot and it holds it quite tight um, I got this this whole thing for 50p can you imagine um, so but yeah I, I really like it and it's coated as well so it means it won't rust on the plant which is good I'm trying to find the end here we go um, so that's not a big pot so we won't need much but better have too much than not enough, right? So let's go with that. Okay. Okay, so here it is wired in. Um, so as you can see, this green wire is, is quite nice. It's, it's barely visible. Um, and the plant is now a lot more stable. It doesn't wobble anymore. Um, I think I will just maybe add a little bit more bark at the base. It seems um, I would like just to have a little bit more at the surface so that when the new, these new growths are pushing on, they've got media to go in. But yeah, there is quite a few new growths, so I think those new roots will push out. I already see some new roots pushing down, so I'm sure there will be even more. Um, so I think on the root front it will be okay, but overall I don't know, there's just something about this plant that I'm not I'm not keen on. It's got quite dark base, so I'm not sure if it's maybe rotting or is, if it's normal for it to be that way. I mean these two leaves just seem so floppy and almost like they're just gonna drop. I'm not sure, there's just something about it I'm not keen on, but yeah, we'll see how it goes, we'll follow the process and I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, so that's all our plants potted up, um, and boy, that was a long day, I am so tired, I started about 12 o'clock and right now it's um, 6 o'clock, so definitely a long day. Um, but thank you so much for watching, for joining in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and if you have, please give it a thumbs up. And if you've got any questions or any comments, um, please, you know, give me a shout, leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you all later. Thanks, bye.